So while cleaning, I found a bunch of discs and I wanted to try them out with my uh, USB floppy drive I have. So here's what we have. Disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four. Ultimate hints, formatted 5-8-1992. Wow, let's hope there is only five discs in this. Whew. All right, so let's start with making a folder. So let's right click, put a new, ah, let's try that again. Right click, new folder. Let's see, we'll call this Ultima Underworld. What was this one? The Stoogian Abyss. So, uh, Stoogian Abyss. We're going to just do it short. You'll see why. So, let's go into there. Uh, let's fire up DOSBox. Bring this down here. There we go. All right. So first, let's go mount a as a backslash, a colon backslash. There we go. Mount C as... Actually, I'm seeing this backwards. It's technically, you're mounting A. I want the floppy drive, which is A, to be the A drive. So... I'm mounting A as A backslash. What that means is I'm mount, this drive is now A, and that might make a little bit more sense here, where I made on the root of the C drive, I made Ultima UTSA. So I'm mounting, but I want to make inside this folder the root of my DOS environment. I don't want it on the root of my C drive, so that's why I made this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting mount C as C colon backslash um, alt. Ah, see if I can type Ultima UTSA. Now, when I do that, the C drive is in that folder. It's not really the C drive. Um, I, I try to keep things out of the C drive. I really maybe should have even mounted it to my external drive. That's where I put everything. If for some reason I lost my C drive, I'm not right now going to horribly lose sleep over doing this um, because I have other stuff on there that I, I wouldn't mind starting this process over, actually. Uh, but so now if I go, uh, let's see, a colon, you'll see I have that directory, nothing's in there. Um, C colon, DIR, yeah, two directories always says that. All right, so let's take, let's take disk one, put it in here, and let's go to a colon, DIR. I can hear it reading it, so it's going to take a moment. And that is a horrible sign. Oh, virus threat and protection. What did you find? No threats. Oh, okay. I find little threats on here once in a while. It's awesome. All right. Nothing. That is not a good sign. All right. So let's refresh this window because that was my lemming disk. So... That's not true. I show things in there. All right, so DIR, nothing. All right, so I'm going to try something different with this one. All right, so we're going to do this one differently. So let's exit out of DOSBox. And let me think about this. There's always something that tells it it's a disk. All right, so let's just see what the differences are. Let's go back to Ultima UTSA. Let's copy these over here. Okay, so let's take out the second disk. Let's pop in. That's the first disk. Let's pop in the second disk. Now that I have that in, I'll just hit refresh here. And we're going to compare the two sides. I did not select whether I have hidden or not. Oh, good. More viruses found. I get, at least the discs are all getting cleaned. Um, let's go to view. All right, I do have hidden items selected. All right, I don't see anything that says if we're going to overwrite anything, so let's bring that over. Now, unexpected error is keeping you from copying the file. If you continue to receive this error, you can use the error code to search. 
Try again. Cuts 11. Sometimes you gotta wonder how bad are the discs just due to their age. I mean, they're all magnetism. I should really be careful where I'm even setting them because now things are built where no one cares, you know, what's in it. See, I'm, I'm not sure on these discs um, how bad they could be too. And I don't wanna get this too close to my disc because they're all magnetiz magnetism basically. And like my phone here, and I've done a review on this before with the moto mods and everything, Everything just clicks on with a magnet. Uh, even if you don't have that, you have a magnet inside here. You might be, have even been to a hotel where they're like, don't put the hotel key card with your wallet um, and your phone. Um, I said that goofy, you can put it with your wallet, given there's no magnets, I guess. But even then, if you have a magnet in your wallet, uh, because it can erase it. So this I'm going to put back far away. But yeah, it kind of makes you, you know, kind of makes you worry about that. So let's try... Disc three. And hit refresh. Okay, I don't see anything here that says it matches title, so we're going to continue to do that. I am going to do that to the other discs also. Uh, these are the discs I did already to the other discs. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. All right. The ghetto disc, verbatim. God, I remember if you could get a verbatim disc, that's the one to hold on to. So let's uh, refresh. All right, a Lagner SQL readme underworld weapons. Interesting. I wonder if this is a mod disc. I wonder if the readme has anything on it. No matter what time of day it might be, when thou art reading this, no matter what the hour of the clock, I say good morning to thee, because this very moment brings to thee the coming of dawn. Dawn, as everyone knows, is the moment when illumination comes. The dawn marks the end of the long, dark night and the new beginning. It is my humble hope that these words may be for thee in dawning, or at least a type of awakening. This walkthrough should answer any questions you may have concerning Ultima 7, the Black Gate. Oh, the black gate. All right. There are six files in this archive. Read me. You're reading it now. SOL, an update walkthrough <laughs> since 9-2092. A Lagner's book describing various magical items. A list of weapons and armor. A list of potions. Interesting. A walkthrough for the forge. SOL, if you have any further questions on this game, you can either send email... Email 92, awesome, to Doc Shadow or post a message to the Ultima 7 folder in the PC Games Forum where you found this walkthrough. Wow, this is, this has got to be, I'm trying to think of back. I mean, I did have internet through, it's cool, it was dial-up. I want to say I had a 2400 baud modem back then. Um, post a message, I mean, I guess that it, it seems so obvious you know post a message kind of like you would on facebook or twitter or something like that but back then it was there like a lot of bulletin boards you could do other uh, messages sending an email wasn't even that easy uh, i mean that was like the american online days and prodigy and stuff like that um but it doesn't sound like we need that disc for this so i'm debating do i i'm gonna just take it out for now Part of me wants to put a folder inside here and drop it in there, but I'm not going to do anything that alters from what I copied over already. Um, so we're going to go back and we're going to call this D for disks and then control A, control copy. I really should throw this into a, another folder. I hate having two folders for one thing on my route, but we're just going to do that real quick. So let's see here. New folder. Actually, we'll just call it Ultima for now. So that's going to be my C drive, and then the A drive is going to be the disk one here. 
Um, in fact, you know what? Let's just go here. Let's go rename disks. Yep, it's going to bother me. All right, new folder Ultima. What did I say this one was? I'm going with what the disk says. I'm not going with what that floppy said. I swear that's a G. Let me just put the the Underworld essay. There we go. Under. Mm, under. World. Yeah, S A. Well, T S A. There we go. All right, and then let's drop that in there because that's going to be the C drive, and then this will be the A drive. So let's jump in here, and there you go. You can see that. So let's go to DOS box. All right, so mount A. To C colon backslash Ultima. Oh, we're going to do it capitalized. Ultima Underworld TSA backslash Ultima Discs. Okay. So let's go A. Uh, no, let's mount both. I don't want to mess with anything. So mount C as C colon uh, Ultima. See, if I was smart, I would have just made the first one Ultima, and then any Ultima games I had, I could have just put in there with the longer term, because now i got to type this out every time. Well, I guess I would have had that anyways. Um, but I'm already seeing a mistake. Good thing I was chatting. Ultima... Underworlds, come on, Underworlds, there we go, TSA, uh, and this one will just be Ultima, Ultima, uh, Ultima's, Ultima, all right, what, what did I miss, ah, I pluralized where I shouldn't have, man, be glad you don't deal with DOS all the time anymore, there we go. So let's go A, D-I-R. Let's go by page just so we can see it all. Whoop, forward slash. Okay. Looks like we have everything in there. Let's go to the C drive. Shouldn't see anything. There we go. Let's go back to the A drive. And just to make life easier on ourselves, let's look for what file we're going to do. So let's go to a file type, applications, install. That does not surprise me. All right, so install, there we go, all right, awesome, it finds nothing, select a sound card you wish to use, note that the PC's internal speaker is used for sound effects, so back in the day, whether you had a sound blaster or not, you usually picked it, that seemed to be the one that always worked, um, Create a lab sound blaster, that was always the go-to card back in the day. Now things have changed so much, but you always go for that. So I'm just going to pick, pick this all the way through. Animating, yeah, I should be able to handle that. Current selection, type the letter of the hard disk on which you want to install the game. C is what we want. It looks like it's going to give it a directory also, so I'm okay with that. Disk space, 13 megabytes. I hope we can handle that, which we should be able to. Is this current configuration correct? No idea. Let's hit yes. All right. So it's actually doing some work there. Okay. So that was actually a good sign. It said it entered, put in disk two and hit any key. So I just hit the keyboard and it just went and looked for it. So uh, whether they're doing a bat file process for this or what kind of scripting they're doing, um, actually back then it probably was just a batch file um, or some, you know, I don't know from back then, but um, I'm sure it just had a pause command uh, and that's why it didn't just know to keep going. Uh, at that time, they're probably assuming that you're not just putting the disks on your hard drive for the fact that hard drive space was a premium back when this stuff existed. 
Um, but it's going pretty good so far, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so insert disc three into drive A. Please hit when ready. Um, so I actually remember getting this game. One of my worries are, well, here, let me just hit it. I'll have a go. I am really hoping there is only there is only four discs because I do not have a fifth disc. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, when I used to get these ready for checkout, I eventually started putting on the like this barcode still whole from only at the video store, um, I started putting on here, actually, the uh, disc, you know, how many discs there was, um, but I apparently didn't on this one. Now I really wish I did. I could, you know, I could Google it, I suppose, and find out, but we'll see how it goes. This one, I'm pretty pumped. You'd be amazed how many discs actually fit on one, or how many games, not games, I'm saying that wrong. When I say games, I don't mean multiple games on one disc. When I say games, I just meant games out there in the stores. You'd be amazed how many games actually did fit on, what is this, 1.44 megabytes? Uh, some were dual-sided. Yeah, so you'll see there's a little uh, little switch right there. Uh, if you if you do know about five and a quarters, the big floppy discs, and yep, there was even bigger ones than that, but the five and a quarters are the ones I really remember back from the Apple IIe days. Um, you They'd be single-sided, and to safety protect it, you would cover the hole on it. That way, it wouldn't. Um, you couldn't record over it if that hole was there. Was no hole here, and that's what this is um, for. This game, it's on this, or for this disc, it's on that side. Uh, then you had the dual. So this would be a dual disc. So technically, there's two sides to this one. Uh, if it wasn't a dual disc, you would only have one hole. And actually, I should drop that down. Well, this one doesn't have one on the side. Hey, I can make a keychain out of it. Um, but uh, I used to have a hole punch, and if you had the five and a quarter floppies, you could punch a hole on the other side, and you'd basically turn a single-sided disc into a two-sided disc, and that did actually work. Um, you would, uh, you you could actually get one that you would squeeze it and it'd do the square notch, but a round hole punch if you knew where to put it worked. Uh, one of the nice thing too, and I don't have one. I wish I did have one here. Is oh, next disc. This is number four. This is the one we're uh, shooting for. But yeah, on the far in the course, they had a sleeve. And I remember even that was a bragging right in the school, which like a lot of people just made out of paper. They'd fold their sleeves for it. Um, you know, the five and a quarter would then uh, slide into like a, a sleeve. And you know, there's a horrible demonstration right here, but uh, go into a sleeve and we'd take eight by 11 regular piece of paper folded and stuff to make it but the higher end discs had ones that you couldn't tear it you could cut it but you couldn't tear it you try to tear it, it would actually had fibers in it and they were really good um, and those were the ones to get you always put your best games in there because you wanted to uh you know you just wanted to keep them okay installations finished type uw to play university of wisconsin Well, that's a good sign. All right, let's get the mouse in here and click. Usually it'll freeze into the box. Disappeared altogether. At last, oh. you are asleep. For three nights, each attempt to rest has brought you starting from your bed and All right, so a blank screen. What horrified you so? With a sickening oh, sense of deja vu, you begin to dream. I remember this kind of stuff was. Let me turn it down a bit. I remember back in the day, this stuff was awesome. Like that was considered just awesome graphics back in the day. Just seeing it kind of gets me excited. A visitor, and from far away indeed. Were he not dead, I'd suspect my brother sent thee. No matter, thou shalt serve to draw the hounds from the scent. Below, a creature heads toward the dark woods, a thrashing sack slung over its massive shoulder. What hast thou done with our lord's daughter, Ariel? 
dropped her below to an accomplice or a wide jack. Well, he'll now escape us, and when we bring him back, he'll... So, I right-clicked down to pause it here. I'm looking for... There's unfortunately no good way to, to my knowledge, uh, full screen it yet. But uh, that's something I'll work on. So you'll see here, I don't know if you can see that in the screen, the cursor on the left there moving up and down. Now it's on the right moving up and down on the top back and forth. So that is, that's the mouse. I'm. You see I can't go out the boundaries of the game. Um, well, I actually, right now, I'm I'm guessing during the editing, I zoomed into just the game itself, so you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see what that was going on or not. But it's locked into the game, so um, you can't go out. That's great if you're playing and it's something where you don't want to go off the game. I don't know if you ever played like a flash game in a browser or something, male or female, right-handed. Let's take fighter. Uh, pick a skill. Mm, attack. I always love sword and missile. Should have tried that out. Pick a skill. Swimming. I'm going to go with search, though, actually. Um, oh, I got a beard. Let's go with the beard. Choose a difficulty. Just go standard. Name. What can we put in here? Um, buttons. There we go. Enter. Keep this character. You bet. So yeah, I hope you liked that video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or even some pointers for me, let me know. Otherwise, like, subscribe, thanks, all that. Oh, wait, no, I say thanks after the subscribe, which I did. But I said it wrong. So like, comment, subscribe, and thanks.